Tonight, the next frontier for AI audiobook narration. Be the sound of the world with Deep Send AI. Meaning celebrities can now offer their voice services from beyond the grave. The Wall Street Journal reporting companies like Deep Zen are taking real voices of actors and narrators and using AI to create new content with synthetic voices that sound like the real thing. I'm not trying to replace your father. Among Deep Zen's offerings, actor Edward Herman from shows like The Gilmore Girls. Well, I think we're both up to the challenge, shall we? Here, Edward is narrating an audiobook on Thomas Jefferson. Disorder, which Jefferson hated, threatened harmony, which he loved. And here is Edward's synthetic voice, created by Deep Zen, narrating that same audiobook. Disorder, which Jefferson hated, threatened harmony, which he loved. That's despite the prolific actor's death in 2014. Deep Zen was able to use old recordings of his voice with the permission from his family to voice more books like this. Captain Hidalgo swiveled in his chair. What if we license his voice and bring his voice back to life and use it for um, different projects, starting with like audiobooks, dubbing, and kind of like uh, bring his legacy uh, back to life. It's an advancement that professional narrator Tanya Eby says is already having an impact. I'm angry. <laughs> um, I, I think, honestly, it's a real threat. Five years ago, it was a thing of the future. And then the future suddenly happened within like the last six months. And it's been really crazy. Uh, my work is down about 50%. Um, and I've been in the business for 20 years. Just this year, Apple launched Apple Books Digital Narration, saying Apple Books Digital Narration makes the creation of audiobooks more accessible to all. There was something achingly familiar about her. Some narrators making the case that it's just not the same. I've tried listening to AI. I am trying to be open te to technology and like go with it. And what happens is for the first few minutes, it sounds right. Um, and then you notice that your mind starts drifting. So whatever that magical quality of storytelling with a human telling a story to another human is lost with computers. But the tech is improving so much so quickly. The technology uses previous recordings of the voice actor to guess how that person would speak. In fact, this sentence was not recorded by me, but an AI engine trained on my voice. And it's so easy to produce. We used a site that allowed us to upload only about a minute of my voice reading a previous story, paste in the script that we wrote, generate the audio, and you have my AI recording in just a few minutes. AI is going to play a key role, expanding the content, making it available to the masses if it is used in the right way. All right, Stephen Romo joins Top Story in studio tonight. And Stephen, I mean, this, this story really blew all of our minds, especially when they, they were able to recreate your voice. What are the ethical, the, the, the legal sort of ramifications here? What did the company say? Yeah, well, the company says they get all of the required licensing from all the parties involved. For Mr. Herman, they actually got approval from his agents and his family. They also say his family put conditions in place, like they didn't want his voice used for things like video games, for example. So they do have some freedom there. As the technology expands, though, the question of whether whether parody laws may help protect this, that is largely untested right now. But one fascinating thing about this I did want to note, Deep Zen, that company we talked to, says they have emotional control over these voices using these eight perimeters. They can mix them around and get the emotion across they want to, making it even more uncanny, Tom. Pretty incredible. And we should tell our viewers, right? We should let them in on the secret. Yeah. This is not Stephen Romo, right? <laughs> this is AI. And this it's a hologram. Is pretty incredible. <laughs> now we're joking. That is Stephen Romo, the original. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.